Hey everyone, it's Sony Coral, and today I'm going to be making another video. Today I'm going to be doing a short Mac tutorial which will show you how to quit the Finder. So, to get started, in the case of most applications, if you scroll up to the options bar, at the bottom of the list, you'll most likely find a quit than the name of the application you're working with, with a shortcut of Command Q afterwards. But, as you can see, in the case of Finder, there's no quit Finder option. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get that quit Finder option and be able to quit the Finder. So the first step in quitting the Finder is open Terminal. Terminal can most likely be found in your Utilities application, your Applications folder, in case you don't have it in your dock. So, type once you're in Terminal, type in defaults write com.apple.finder quit menu item and then all caps yes. So Make sure you have capital letters correct. Example, yes, Q, M, I, and D need to be capitalized, otherwise your command won't initialize properly. It won't know what quit menu item is, or it can't find it inside the branch of com.apple.finder. Defaults basically means open or find the find the dot plist, uh, info dot plist in the bundle identifier of com.apple.finder. Write means inside the info dot plist file uh, text. Um, brand, brand, well, inside the the um, bundle identifier, come to Apple to Finder, um, change the branch quit menu item to yes. So if you click enter, you shouldn't get any errors. But as you can see, if you go back to Finder, you still won't have the quit Finder option. That's because you've initialized the command in Finder, but you still need to relaunch it. <coughs> so you can relaunch it two ways. You can you can either do it program programmatically or you can do it manually. First I'm going to show you how to do it manually. First you're going to want to type, uh, you're going to want to press option command escape on your keyboard. It should open the force quit applications box. So scroll down the finder and click relaunch. Your desktop icons should reset and if you go on finder you'll notice there's now a quit finder option. But to do it programmatically type in kill all finder. Same thing will happen. Your desktop icons will relaunch and you should have the quit finder option. <coughs> kill all is actually a very useful command. <coughs> For example, say you change the icon of one of your applications, you don't, you don't want to have to re uh, drag it back into your dock. <coughs> and uh, you don't want to have to mess with dragging it out and dragging it back in. You can just basically type in kill all dock. Your dock will reset and your new icon should be there. Um, this is also useful for uh, for exiting most applications. Um, for example, if you type in kill all uh, terminal, terminal will be exited. Um, but so I'm just to get off subject a little bit. Kill all is a very useful command in terminal for exiting applications or resetting the dock. So, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about quitting Finder. So you notice if you go Finder and then quit Finder, your desktop icons will disappear. And the little dot under Finder has disappeared. You have quit the Finder. So this was a short mag tutorial on how to quit the Finder. Thanks for watching.